This week on SoapNet, it's Port Charles. Have you ever been afraid that what you want most, you can't have? I think Ariana's fallen in love with you. Do you think maybe you're overreacting a little bit? The longer she stays with him, the harder it's going to be for her to let go. And the only way for you to be truly safe is to move on. I'm not going anywhere. Not now, not ever. It's coming up next, right here on SoapNet. are you Frank I can't wait to see this computer of yours and anything else you'd like to show me you know I'm I'm really glad we got together today Sauce filters replaced. Cool. Vents are scrubbed and double scrubbed. So how are we doing? Uh, 27 more things to get up to code, and we have until midnight to get it done. We are toast. Ooh. Yeah, but we can do this, man. I know. We're getting so close. 27 more things. Did you hear me? Look, Jamal, if we quit now, then Nana wins. Are we just going to stand there and let all of our dreams fly out the window? No. 28 more things. The window guard. Oh. Hey, bro, we can do this, all right? We make a good team. Yeah, we're only three people, though. Four. Help me in. I'm here to help. I thought we'd order in after the day you had. Is Dr. Lambert there, please? This is Dr. Lambert. Eve hates me. Ian! Oh, God. It's so good to hear your voice. Marla, I wish you were holding you in my arms. I want to see you so much. I want to see you more. Hey, I have an idea. If we're really careful, maybe we can meet at my hotel. No, no, we can't do that. Right. I had us. It's more than that. Ariana broke down today about her attack. She finally told you about being raped? Yeah, she did. She's pretty shaken up. I can't leave her like this. You know, Olivia, thanks for offering, but I think we're cool. Besides, don't you and Chris have some kind of opera thing to go to? Oh, look, don't listen to him, please, okay? Because we really do need all the help that we can get. Thank you. Yeah, I thought so. All right, well, uh, maybe we can start you off with something easy. Like putting batteries into smoke alarms or something. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, that's funny. I'm not helpless, you know, Jack. Look, you guys, please, can it? I'm serious, or I'm going to come down there. Ow, ow! Ow! Hey, you okay? Ow! Sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh! Hey, Alice, 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 where does it hurt? Uh, I don't no. know. Uh, dude, don't touch me, don't touch me. Does that hurt? Uh, only when I breathe. Oh. All right, um, um all right, I'm taking you to the hospital. No, no, because Come I'm going to get all of our repairs done. I'm fine, look, I'm fine. Just give me a second. All right, all right, fine. Okay? God, I'm fine. I'm just... Ow, 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 ow! Right. 
see. Come on. No, you probably should be doing the bunny hop. Hey, I'm Luke Jamal taking you check that out. I don't hold up. Yeah, cool. Allison, please go. I'm here to help as well, so. Fine, I'll go, but uh, Jamal stays here because we need everybody working. Allie, would you get real? All right, we'll go together. That's final. <sighs> Fine. It's cool. But what we need right now is a miracle. Otherwise, we are finished. Come on. You got it. I guess it's just you and me now, Jack. You think you can handle that? Mm. Mm. That was uh, some reception. Nope, I didn't miss you at all. <laughs> well, good thing I stuck around. I thought you were on some hot date or something. Actually, I, uh... I screwed up, Karen. Big time. Oh, wait a minute. I thought I was the one with the surprise here, not the other way around. What's going on? It's just uh, I was missing you. OK, that's a good thing. Now get to the really screwed up part. See, uh, I started thinking about how terrific you are and how much I care about you and don't want to hurt you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> When guys say they don't want to hurt you, it's never good news. I didn't, I didn't want to disappoint you. I was afraid of not being good enough. And then my whole past as a jerk flashed before my eyes, and I figured you would be better off without me. So I took a waitress out on a date so I wouldn't mess up your life, only mine. Did you say your past as a jerk? Kara, nothing happened. We, we had lunch. She had pizza, and then I had remorse, and I told her I couldn't see her anymore. Because there is a girl named Karen I am absolutely crazy about. Well, uh, you must have been some fun date. She wanted to see the computer, since that's all I talk about lately. And I got as far as that door. But I couldn't bring her into this place because this this is our place. Well, some girls get Paris, I get this old drafty garage. Come on, Karen. This this place with all of our 70 stuff and Nelly, it's become kind of a special place. For us, I mean. And then I didn't want to be here with anyone but you. So in a weird way, I am glad I went out with her because it made me realize that you are the only person I want to be with. Can you forgive me? In time? Maybe, uh, 50, 60 years? Well, when you told me you were on a date, I thought of about a dozen painful things I could do to you with this pizza. Mm. Ooh. Especially one with all the toppings. Mm. Yeah. But I'm glad you were honest with me. And that you realized you're stuck on me. Wow. Who would have thought something so disastrous could have a happy ending? <laughs> hey, you're only halfway off the hook. You have some serious making up to do. I was hoping you would say that. Okay, who's got the hard drive problem? Ariana told me how the rape happened, how horrifying it was, physically and emotionally. I'm not sure I'm angry with the man who did this to her, or her family for blaming her for it. It must have been awful reliving that experience for her. Yeah, it was. So what now? Victor is making arrangements to have her relocated. That's good. She needs to be safe. That's all I want. Have a place for her where she can breathe again, without all this fear. I wish I could help, but I know I'm the last person that Ariana wants to see right now. And then there's the INS. I know this is hard on you. You know, I just spent one crazy night thinking about you, worrying about you. I promise you we'll be together again very soon. 
I needed to hear that so much. I can't take not being a part of your life. Remember the island and what we shared. We have a love that has lasted through lifetimes. There's nothing going to stand in our way. I want to see you. I want to hold you in my arms. That's killing me not being with you. I have had nothing to do around here but think about all the sexy things I'm going to do to you when I see you next. Is that right? Just giving you a little preview of what will happen when you're with me. No! No! Sorry, Anne, I got to go. Anne! Anne! Hey. Sure, she... ...for to try to help resuscitate Nellie. This is Arnie, the digital doctor. Sorry about interrupting the uh, party, but you get charged for this whether I stay or not. Fine, let's get an expert's opinion. So, uh, where's the computer room? Oh, you're standing in it. And this is Nellie. Wow! Jurassic, man! I am uploading a picture of this for my user group. Oh, you didn't alter the IRQs, did you? Uh, no way. I just installed a new monitor and uh, hooked up a modem linked to a server, but it can only work in HTML. Tell them about the messages. Yeah, something strange is going on. See, I'm, I'm getting these emails, kind of like instant messages, but I get them without even dialing up to the web. It's physically impossible for a 30-year-old machine to connect to a phone line or the Internet. They weren't made that way. Do you think I'm making this up? Unless we're in the twilight zone, no way are you getting messages. Welcome to the twilight zone. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Need some help? Uh, no, I got it. Thank you. Got them all. Good teamwork. Good. Those are sharp. Did you, uh, did you cut yourself? I, uh... God, I can't do this. I can't be this close to you, Jack. You know, I, uh, been thinking about how things used to be between us. Yeah, how they used to be so good. We wanted each other. Yeah, well, that... That was then, and I want different things now. You still want me? No, I want out of here. Away from you. Bye, Jack. Allison, what happened? She was doing a supergirl thing and tried to fly off the ladder. Listen, hmm. Joe, you gotta fix me up because I had to get back to work. Okay, let me see here. Can you wiggle your toes? Yeah. Good. Now move your foot up and down. Ouch. Good, and side to side. Ow. That doesn't look broken. Oh, good, good, then I can get back to work. No, you're not gonna be doing anything tonight. We need to get an x-ray just to make sure that it's not broken. Okay? What? And even if it isn't, looks like a pretty nasty sprain. You can't put any pressure on it for the next 24 hours. What? No! Uh, Ma, can you take care of the x-ray? Sure. Thanks. Sure. Oh, but what's so important? Only our dreams. Only the whole rest of our lives. Okay. Just be patient, Eve. Ian can handle this. You just had a nightmare. When will I stop being so afraid? When you realize that you're safe now. The man who did this to you is not here. And if you were, you'd have to go through me first anyway. I feel safe with you. I should get us some food, no. right? Please, wait a minute. There is something I want to tell you. After I was attacked, the thought of another man touching me was terrifying. I can understand that. The night of the Valentine's party, when you kissed me. I know it was for show, for the INS, but 
For the first time, I realized what it could be like with a man. You gotta listen to me. No, I've, please, um... let me let me say this. <clears throat> it feels feels good to speak my heart. I never thought I'd be able to be close to a man. And then I met you. After the way you've been with me and cared for me, I found what I never thought was possible. I cared because you were in trouble, you know, and a friend. You've become so much more than that. All I wanted was for you to be safe. All I wanted was for you to have a chance to live the life that you dreamed of. But you can't have it here. And you can't have it with me. Oh, I cannot believe what a klutz I am. Well, at least it's not broken. I know, but Jamal, I mean, like, here I am. I'm the one who's, like, rambling on about how we need to get this place up to code, and then I take a nosedive off that stupid ladder, and I ruin everything. Oh, would you stop talking like that? Uh, it was an accident. I know, but I'm sure that Nana's gonna get a big old laugh out of this one. <laughs> at least you only be on your crutches for a couple of days. No, you know, but it's not gonna help us for tonight. I don't even want to go in there and face all the work that we have to do before the building inspector comes and shuts us down. Well, baby, we gotta go in there sometime, so... It might as well be now. So, put on your game face and let's go. Come on. Come on. I'm coming. Ow. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Hey, Joe. It's just the guy I was looking for. If you got anything for me to do, because I've got lots of time. Oh, thanks, but um, things are covered. What? This is the ER. You're always shorthanded. Come on. I live to serve. Are you... are you all right? Yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Well, it's just I know that uh, Rihanna was brought in tonight, and the INS has been questioning me, and um, they're like pit bulls, you know? Yeah, These I guys... Know. I know. Ariana's life is hell. And Ian and I are on hold. I know. Look, I just meant it was a tough situation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bite your head off. I'll be fine. And Ian and I have... We've been through so much. I know we'll get through this, too. Ian is handling this. And I trust him with all my heart. I don't understand. Why can't I live here with you? Well, I know you had a rough day, so this might not be the right time to talk about it. But I, I um, I have a plan. For us? For you. I'm trying to find your new identity and a, a safe place to live. I'm already making arrangements. Arrangements? Yeah, well, this new place, be, it'd be perfect. It's, um, that way your brother can't track you down. And you can be free, independent. But I don't want to live anywhere else. Not now, not right now, when you're ready. But this is our home. As long as you're here, your brother can find you. And the only way for you to be truly safe is to move on. But I won't feel safe with anyone but you. I'm your wife now, Ian. And I'm not going anywhere. Not now. Not ever. That tech guy must be wrong. I swear someone is sending me messages. Maybe what you saw was some leftover computer program or something. Oh, but I, I talked to someone. We had a dialogue back and forth. How? You heard Dr. Digital? It's impossible. I don't know, but we connected. Well, if it's connecting you want. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Yes, even though the computer isn't. The first thing that I'd like to do is to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. You know, it's been a while since you held me this way, Stella. And 
this is my first night back. Can't I think of something a little more personal to concentrate on? What do you have in mind? Again, I would spend a little bit of this. But there never seems to be enough time to do the things you want to do once you find them. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. On the next Port Charles. This marriage is just for show. Not for me. I do love you. Do you want to let yourself feel all the good stuff that you really feel? Residents of Pine Valley always seem to be getting into trouble. Find out what they've stumbled into this time with All My Children, coming up next on SoapNet, soap watching made easy. You never know who to trust on All My Children, coming up next, followed by One Life to Live and General Hospital, SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you.